Amid the economic crisis in Pakistan, the country has reportedly sought the support of the United States in reviving the International Monetary Fund program. The IMF loan is expected to facilitate the soft landing of Pakistan's economy, which has been marred by external challenges like floods and adverse global economic conditions. According to reports, Pakistan's finance minister Ishak Dar met with the U.S. delegation in Islamabad and asked for help from the United States to convince the Washington-based multilateral lender, the IMF, to be lenient towards the country in restoring the loan program. The U.S. delegation was led by Robert Caproth, who is Deputy Assistant Secretary of the U.S. Department of Treasury. Reports say Ishak Dar told the U.S. delegation that Pakistan would honor all its international commitments and was in the process of taking very tough decisions, which include increasing the prices of natural gas and electricity to put the country on the path of stability through reforms. The finance minister informed the U.S. delegation that Pakistan would require some breathing space as the country is still reeling under the after-effects of last year's devastating floods. As the economic crisis worsens, Islamabad has been making frantic efforts to convince the IMF to complete the review. It is pending since September last year and will be followed by the release of funds. Earlier, Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif indicated that uh, the government was finally ready to accept the stringent conditions laid down by the IMF to revive the loan program. According to reports, the IMF wants Pakistan to accept seven demands before it resumes economic assistance to the country. The demands include withdrawal of electricity subsidies, linking gas prices to the international market, free floating dollars and not blocking letters of credit. But reports say the government fears that implementing some of these demands will hike the prices of essential commodities, which is why the Shehbaz Sharif government has been reluctant to withdraw these subsidies, which can in fact make the government highly unpopular with elections due in October this year. For more on this, we're now joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief, Anas Malik. Anas, uh, the Pakistani leadership meeting with the U.S. delegation in Islamabad, trying to convince them to, in a sense, talk to the IMF on behalf of Pakistan. How hopeful are they that the United States will, in fact, be willing to help? Well, I'll come to the last part of your question later, but just to give you a sense of how great the situation is today there's been a literal bloodbath in the pakistani interbank market with the pakistani rupee plunging nose dive by about 24 pakistani rupees in the span of just hours uh, in the interbank market and today it was at a point it was being traded at 257 Pakistani rupees against one US dollar. Uh, it started from about 233 today, uh, but it ended at about 255. So the, equ the economic situation is really, really bad. And Pakistan is desperate to get those dollars to get that IMF ninth review done and that bailout. And that is the reason it is reaching out to uh, friendly countries. We've seen that yesterday the finance minister met the US delegate, the visiting US delegate delegation which continues to with its uh, uh, ongoing visit uh, to Pakistan and Pakistan is considerably hopeful or rather seemingly hopeful that uh, his its friends and allies will, will come to the rescue uh, and rescue it out from what is known as a bleeding economic condition as we speak Neha? Thanks so much, Anna, for getting us all those details. We'll come back to you later for more on this developing story.